Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new series. A new series of a game called Planet Coaster. Now, I don't get very excited for many games out there in this world. A lot of games come out and they're pretty cool, they're okay. This one I am extremely excited about. Ladies and gentlemen, you're about to see, if you haven't seen this yet before, you're about to see the new standard for not only coaster simulation games, but city builders in general, I believe. Let me take you on a little stroll and show you how that's going to be possible and, 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 and how this is all going down, okay? This is a game, Planet Coaster. It's in alpha right now. It's not available to the public. It was for a short period of time. They're working on the game some more. Um, and it'll be out in, in beta, I believe, in early November. So if you are... If you see this and you are interested in this game and looking forward to getting early access, make sure to follow them on Twitter. Let them know B Dub sent you. But check this out. This right here, this little entranceway, all, all you start out with usually is this and this. And this is kind of a little test world, so I can show you a little bit about the game. This, this is all you start out with. And then there's a little tree thing here. I just made a little path that comes around like this. I dug a little pool right here. And put these little bushes in here, these rocks. There is a lot you can do as far as customization. It's customization on a whole new level. Let's let's just do a little more, okay? We got scenery here. We, like, we don't want to put a little pine tree right here. How about a little pine tree right there? That sounds fantastic. Hmm? Look at all these statues. A barrel, a barrel for throwing your trash away. Oh, a bench. A barrel bench. There, there's just tons and tons of props. And here's where it goes kind of next level, okay? So let's say you've got, uh, what do we want here? This tree? Yeah, let's take this tree. We don't love the tree so much, but we do like kind of the top and how the bushes are on top. So you can take this, and if I hit X, it'll let me advance move, and I can put it under the ground... I can also rotate it however I want to get kind of a custom deal. And done. How cool is that? And you can do that with all of these decorations. You can change the color of a lot of them. Uh, there's just tons and tons of really, really... That's huge. There's tons and tons of really, really cool things within this... Uh, just this little part of it, little pre-made things, but you can go even deeper because there are single pieces. Um, oh yeah, there's little, like, let me hit play for a little bit so you can see. Um, there's like these little water, water spout things that I put in here and there's a little bit of steam coming off of this as well, which is pretty cool. And look how close you can get. And the detail kind of remains. It's nice, okay? So this is, this is one thing. Then you have obviously you have a terrain editor, which is which is obvious, and you can also kind of recolor that terrain to whatever you want. So around here, if we wanted to kind of add kind of more of a foliage look, we can do that. Or let's say we want like a sand look. You can do that as well. You can change the intensity of that brush, the size of it, all that stuff. Um, this gives it kind of like a rocky look. I mean, how cool. How cool is that, man? It is so good. So you can make your modifications and and uh, to the terrain and all that stuff and just kind of go around and do, okay, do it like that. Your paths. Um, let's see. Your paths. There's, uh, there's multiple options there as far as what path you, you can put down. Um, and then... What is the? Oh yeah, there's natural paths. That's the one, where it's just kind of got like, yeah, it's just like little uh, barriers on the side. It's not like a full blown path. And then here's cues for lines for the park for the rides. Um, okay, that's step one of the exciting thing. Now, normal 
coaster games, you have things like this where you could take a building. And you're like, okay, I'm going to need uh, a, this sort of building. What is this? This is a burger store. Okay, so I need a burger store, right? So let's pop that down. Now, this is in sandbox mode, okay? This is in sandbox mode. The career mode hasn't come out yet. There is a challenge mode where you can kind of do some finance stuff, but I believe the career mode isn't available yet. So you can do something like this, right? But you could also customize this further. But here's where it gets really, really good, okay? Shops and facilities. You have all these pre-made blueprints. It's also compatible with the Steam Workshop, so they can do, you can download a bunch of stuff from there. But if you go into the custom category, you have some things here, right? Some like some other types of like awnings and stuff to help you with your shop. But go into buildings, which here are some other like buildings, some kind of cool big ones, and whoo, that's a monster. Um, but you go into building, you go into custom, and you have an absolute plethora of things to choose from blocks all sorts of, of block types um that that are going to allow you to build an extremely extremely custom build of your own it's just unbelievable the page goes on and on and on bunch of different signs a lot of these things you can recolor it's just so so cool and that that goes on in a lot of the other areas as well coasters you have some pre-made coasters but you can also do custom coasters and just pick your start how you want it to be and then do it custom yourself from there but let me show you uh oh it's getting a little dark but here's a little something that i was working on myself uh this is just like a little castle i was just messing around with the pieces to see what can I do and what can be done in this game? Every one of these pieces, none of this is is uh, pre-built. Every single one of these pieces I placed myself. Um, and there are some pros and cons to that. The pros are that you have a ton of freedom. Uh, I'll give you a little example. You can place these things anywhere anywhere you could start adding a wall wherever you want you can hit z rotate it you're not restricted in any way which is really really cool but uh that can be kind of difficult at times because let's say you want to try to line up perfectly with this it's a little hard uh, but i think if i just click here and edit building it'll take us into the edit the building mode and then things will start snapping which is really cool. Um, so yeah, this is kind of just an example of something that I've, I've, uh, I was working on off camera. But uh, let me try to get it daytime real quick here, because there's something else I want to show you. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty. Uh, that's pretty bright. I think. Woo camera ripped okay so this is the castle during the daytime you kind of get a look at it it's just it's just a start you know i was just kind of uh wanting to mess around and see see how things were but let's put down let's put down a coaster just any random old coaster uh how's this one look pretty cool pretty cool is there loop to loop in there it looks like it that one's all right that one looks crazy Ooh. Ooh. Oh, is that inverted? Oh, yes. Let's try this one out. Placed. Okay. Holy cow, look at that incline. Wait, you go straight up and then down? Holy Moses. Okay. So let's click on the ride. Let's hit the ride cam. And if we go here, we are now... In first person mode oh yes and there's also this camera that kind of does like a cin cinematic look I think crane oh cool oh you can pick your seat too oh yeah let's sit more centered that's pretty cool all right so if we hit whoops I broke it I broke it shouldn't have hit X right there I was trying to get that off the screen okay seat two 
And that's good. Now let's go for a little ride. Watch this, everybody. You... Uh, 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 sickness warning. Nausea warning, okay? You will. If, if you get sick on rides, you will get sick here. Trust me. Any minute now, we're going to take off. I'm sure of it. Any minute, guy! Hey, kid! Let us go! Let's ride the ride now! Okay, I'm ready to ride the ride now, kid! Okay, now we're in here. We're in. I had to start a test. Alright, so, the tests are beginning. Here we go. The thing comes down. I hope you're ready. You're gonna get sick. You're going to get sick. Look at the detail in this roller coaster. And we're going straight up. I've seen a ride like this in China, I think, or Japan or something like that. The silence, the calm before the storm. We are way up here, folks. Can I look around? No, I can't. Okay. Oh, it's straight down. Oh, we're stopped. We're hanging. Ooh. Yeah. Upside downy. Okay, I'm getting a little queasy. Okay, okay. I was having. <coughs> I was having fun earlier. Ugh. Yeah. Okay, my. Yeah. I'm gonna have to take a little break after this. I don't do very well on roller coasters. I love them. I mean, you know, I don't do very, very well on roller coasters. Let's play a roller coaster game. I love them. But, uh, okay. Good test. Good test. Seems like it all went very well. Blech. You've got that, which is real nice. Um, but you can customize. You can build your own. Like I said, you can just start out with, uh, you know, one of these deal jobsers. And, uh, whoops, that's not custom at all. You start out with one of these guys and then just go. Do your own thing. How cool is that? I love it. Um, but... For the start, we're going to be mainly focusing on some building stuff uh, because I think that's where it really this game really, really shines. We'll, of course, get into coasters and all that, uh, and it won't be in this world. We're going to do our own world. Look at him just hang there, and then, wait, we just rode that thing. How sick is that? So cool. All right, so maybe we hop into a world and we kind of start doing a little bit stuff ourselves. Just realized the volume was kind of on the loud side, so I cranked that down just a little bit. It's nice overall, but when you're in the coaster, it's pretty freaking loud. So here we are. The start of our park. Not bad. We're in kind of a... Uh, it's a tropical area, they say, but uh, we're on this weird island thing. But here's how our entrance looks, right here. And it is a theme park. But I don't think we're going to go with a specific theme. I did think, originally, maybe Game of Thrones theme. Because there's so many different castles and stuff. But I've already done that on like my Building with B-double-O series. You know the series. Um, okay, let's bring this out. And over and around. I have a different idea for this place. Mm -hmm. Let's try to get this exact. I'm going to do kind of some path stuff here, but I'm not going to drag you along for the entire thing. That's not perfect. Dang it! Undo. Get rid of you. I think this is my screw. Yeah, that's the guy that screwed me. That's almost perfect. It's tough to get a perfect thing in here. But the nice thing about reality, there is no perfection in... Uh, Reality, so, so some things will be a little off. I now, but now I'm trying to do perfect. Yeah. Huh? Like that? That's a little better. Um. So yeah, I I was thinking Game of Thrones theme. I think maybe we'll kind of lean towards that. If you guys are like, yes, 100% do it. There's a bunch of different castles. You could do something really cool. Uh, I am also open to theme ideas. I'm not going to dive too deep into them uh, just yet. But what I think we'll do is I'll probably... Let's raise the terrain up right around this entrance. I know this might be a little crazy. 
We'll turn the brush size way up. And intensity, 69. Let's just see how that is. Because I'd like to kind of bring, yeah, a bit of a mountain. Actually, hmm. I think I want to bring this down first. Let's bring this down. Because here's a cool thing with this game. Um, let's see. Level to found, flatten to surface. Roughen, flatten to foundation. I think that's the one. Yeah, that's the one. That just flattens it all out right there. If we take the paths, and I'll have to pick my path here. Um, let's go with the cobblestone. Let's do as wide as we possibly can. And try to center it. That looks pretty centered. And just go straight. That's not straight. That's not straight, buddy. Eh. Eh. Who's snapping? Okay. Ooh, I wrecked it. Boom. This guy, and that might give me more of a straight. Yeah, that's a straight line. Let's do a big road right through here. And then we'll bring the terrain up around it. Now, this is a really, really nice little feature. So if we bring this terrain up, look at what happens. It automatically forms like a, a tunnel. Instant. Easy tunnel. How cool is that? So let's bring this up for quite a ways. It'll go through the tunnel for a little bit. Oops. No, we don't want that there. Um, flatten to foundation. Yeah, that's good. That's good. That's good. Okay, so when they come in the park initially, they'll have kind of a tunnel situation they'll have to go through. I don't want to make this too weird right here. Uh, let's bring this up. Bring this up. Yeah, that's nice. And then I want to roughen this surface. I don't want it to look too perfect here. So let's bring the brush size down a little more. And we'll start to roughen this up to make it look more like uh, a mountain. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Look at, I mean, the amount of detail that can be put into this game. The, the, the thing about it, there's it, it gets kind of like, oh, we working on the same thing too much. But I'm going to try my best, since we're doing this on YouTube, I'm going to try my best to kind of make it to where we don't put too much effort into one spot to where it gets kind of kind of monotonous for you. Um, so, but right now in the early game, it's all kind of new for you. So I'm just going to kind of show you some of the things. So we roughen that up a little bit. And then if we go into the painting tool and we grab the rocks and we pr pull the brush size up, uh, a little too much there. And let's crank the intensity to 100 and see how that looks. Yeah. That's nice. We got a really cool looking mountain all of a sudden. And we'll leave some grass in there. I don't have a problem with that, really. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, yeah. So cool. There's just so many potential options within this uh that you can do to just create your own custom piece of art park. And the feeling of pride you get when you step back and you're like, yep, I made that. I made that. Uh, we could even, let's, well, what I'll do, I'll kind of try to pretty this up some more. But if we, you know, bring some kind of stragglers out here, ooh, phone going off. Bring some stragglers out here. Yeah, this phone going off is t telling me it's time to do some off-camera work. I'll be right back. Okay, so we kind of got it worked out here. So as we come in, we've got this. Uh, we've got this entrance here. This would be the way you come in. Go like this, and then through here, through this tunnel. We'll have to roughen this tunnel up a little bit. The inside of this bad boy, and we could. Let's see if we can do that right now. Uh, roughen and let's kind of bring the brush down so if we just came in here boom 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 yeah that can do it that's nice that makes it look a little bit more like a cave uh, but I'll do that kind of kind of later no big deal could even roughen that up because that's a little too perfect we don't want this stuff to look too perfect you know it's nature, for goodness sakes. But, 
what I want to do now is go into building wall signs. And since that's kind of the main entrance, if we pop... Um, got this guy. That's pretty cool. We could put that there. That's a little on the small side. Oh, that's kind of cool. Hmm. Oh, that's kind of cool. I, w I think I like this one best, honestly. So we could place that right. Let's kind of... Oh, no, that's the wrong way. If we hit X, then we can kind of maneuver this bad boy. We rotate him out like that. And give him a little rotate. Ooh, that's too much. Okay. Pull him out. I Because I think he is in a good spot. It comes out like that. That's tilted, isn't it? Is that tilted? Okay, I think we got her at a good spot now. So let's just pop it right there. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Maybe just a little bit higher. Yeah, right there. That looks pretty perfect. It is tilted back a little bit. If we do rotate it this way, it's going to lean it in just enough, actually. I think that's pretty good. Pull it out. Pull it up. Yeah, that's nice. Oh, it's still in the rock a little bit. Do I like it? I think I like it. Oh, yeah. Let's call that good right there. So we've got our Planet Coaster sign right there. And, and luckily, we've got these posts. So the posts are kind of holding it in. But I can take the terrain and suck it out a little bit. You want to suck, get sucked out, terrain? Ooh, that's a little huge. Let's back that off. Boom. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. And... hi -ya! That's... Okay, let's back this off. Back that off. Intensity down. Yeah, perfect. Good job, B-dubs. Yeah, okay. Then we come in with this. We we'll get that... Turn that into rocks again. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a, that R is ruined. But that's okay. Um, you just... Whoop, whoop. Yeah, perfect. We did it. Look at that. That's so cool, man. Okay, um, so we'll come through here and do a little something something. It's going to be a little bit of path work, but let me do that, okay? I'm just, the paths can be kind of boring, so I'm not going to go too into that. But let me get on that, and I'll be back with you. All right, so when you come in through this area, you come in through the tunnel there, you're going to open up into this area here. And I want this to be really, really nice. Similar to the other idea that I had before, but that's kind of a Disneyland thing. You walk in, and then there's the big, you know, Disney castle right in front of you. Uh, that is a cool idea, but I don't want to copy that exactly. Uh, what I'm thinking is having this kind of central area like a garden, and then either side have a lot of just townhouses, which will serve as information area, bathroom, um, you know, burger place, drink place, other areas. And... Once you place those, you can build around them and kind of customize them how you want. But in this middle area, I want to kind of do a fence. And there aren't a whole lot of options for fences. Uh, but we can kind of take a lot of these other blocks and use them to create your own custom fence. And I'm thinking this one here. This is an iron scaffolding. Two meters tall. This is a four meter tall one. This is a four meter support. Uh, so you can kind of do scaffolding. But I think this would work out kind of nice for a little bit of a fence situation. So if we line this first one up real nice, get it like right there, I think, and then hit X. Now let's get it right there. X, it'll give us the option to advance move it. We'll pop that baby down into the ground a little bit. We're gonna lose those lower support parts, but that's okay, I'm okay with that. We just put those underground, lower this just a little bit because I feel like it's a little tall, and then place it. Clong! And then we should be able. Blong! 
Uh, one thing that I'm not in love with is how they're meeting up, but I don't think that's gonna bother me. I don't, if I focus too much on the little details, it's going to uh, make it to where we don't get much progress. Ooh, that's a problem. A uh, problem that we could probably address later. We can fix that, make that work. Oh, and then this isn't gonna be good? Hmm. Okay, let's continue on over here. We can make this work. Like that, and then if we put this one, and we advance move, I think we can. Let's go out of this, let's grab that, and is there an advance move? No, there's not. Hmm. We can move it, but we can't advance move it. So let's hit X. No. This is where things get a little bit weird. Uh, because I'm. this is considered a building, what I'm editing right now. When you're editing the building, it's nice because things kind of snap to each other. But then you lose that fine detail. So I think I have to... Why did that place when I hit escape? No, thank you. I think I have to leave the building edit mode. Yeah, like that. And then you have to come in and kind of do it manually. And if these cross, whoops, why did that do that? It's brought up steam by accident. Okay, let's get it like lined up with this as much as we can and then hit X. And what this will do, unfortunately, but it, it'll be okay, is it creates another building. So let's try to line that up as best we can and then line this up as best we can that looks pretty good and then come over to here we get a little bit of a weird fence thing right there but that's okay I'm okay with that that's gonna work good and then we can just start snapping to that that works okay I'm cool with that so we have two separate buildings here uh, that'll snap to each other Unfortunately, you can't advance move within a building, but that, I mean, that'd be fantastic, but it's okay. And then if I Z, will that snap right there? That's a little weird, but we can fix that later, okay? That's no big deal. I'll do, it, you know, some of the super advanced stuff later. Um, but that gives us a, our little fence area in the middle to block everybody off from going in there, and then we'll kind of do... Like a nice little garden thing. Uh, so let's go into the, not the terrain, not the terrain, scenery. Aha. Okay, so scenery, lots and lots of options. Lots of different trees. But what I'm thinking, where are the really nice nature? There are some really nice bushes in here. Yeah, these guys. These, that's kind of on the small side small some of these are really really small yeah that's small anything bigger that's a decent sizer oh yeah that's nice right there pop one of those there pop one of these here and when we're dealing with nature and scenery I don't get too crazy because um, I don't think it's really necessary for nature to be perfect this sort of stuff, maybe. That fence I know is going to drive some people crazy, but I'll get it worked out a little bit better later. Don't you worry. And then this side I'm not going to mess with just yet. Can also do little bushes like this, which are really nice. But the thing about these, I think they're a little bit on the small side. A little bit too small for my liking. We could put that there. We could also stack one on top of it if we wanted and make them larger. Um, but these, I don't believe, do like the building thing. If you do stack two of them next to each other, you go like this, select both of them, and um, what is it? Select and save it. So I could save it as a blueprint. If I save it as a blueprint, I could say I could start pasting it, you know, throughout here. Um, which is pretty cool. But let me go off camera a little bit and really pretty this inside up. And once I do that, I'll come back to you. 
I think we got something kind of nice, kind of nice. I don't know how I feel about this contrast, though. Contrast, contrast. I think it's okay, though. It, we've got kind of like this really well-groomed, trimmed area, and then kind of like a... It's a little overgrown feeling here, but it's the same on either side. I think overall it looks really nice, and it's just going to dress things up a little bit. You get the feel. Like that's pretty good, right? I think that's pretty good. Uh, what I want to do now, underneath, I've got this maple tree in here. I believe that's a maple. I could be wrong. I like to kind of paint the ground. This is like a um, little bit of a foliage thing. Let's bring that brush size down. Intensity low is good. Yeah, that's nice. Kind of make it look like some leaves are down there. Pretty good for like the overall feel of this thing. Because uh, there are, you know, there's a lot of bushes. So a lot of leaves on the ground could be, could be good. Yeah, I think that looks nice. That's actually, hmm. I've never looked at that really closely. That's really cool though. I think that works for in here though. I made this little hedge maze thing. Uh, something that I did kind of show you. Um... I just took this. You, know, you can use this and kind of just manually select uh, each piece, I believe. Um, whoops. Just screwed up. I just clicked off screen. That messed things up. Uh, how does it work? Do I go like control? Control and click. You can manually select things, but you can use this. If you get up like this, you can try to select everything. Yeah, so I got everything there, and then I could save it as a blueprint, which I did. So I have this blueprint here of this uh, kind of spiral. It's not perfect, but it's good. And you can rotate it. You could advance move it. So I just built this one and uh, put it down here, rotated it to fit, and made it work. And I think it looks pretty nice. The fence, like I said, it's, it's not perfect, but that's not going to catch our eye. Okay, that's not something that it's worth spending a half hour on getting like a perfect fence line up it's just there to do the job keep people out and i think it will uh, so for now for this first episode i think we're going to call it here we got something pretty nice though we've got this nice entrance here let's uh let's unpause it go into the free move camera and so we'll go through here and we'll come through to this and as we come through we will reach this area, which will be like a nice little town feeling. Uh, so that should be pretty good. I like it a lot. I think it'll work out really nice for us. I'm super excited for this series. I hope you guys are too. Um, but like I said, game not available if you missed the alpha period, but it should be coming out to you very, very soon. And keep an eye. They might do another alpha release before November. So follow them on Twitter. Followed their website and I think their Facebook, they announced that stuff too. So make sure to check all that out. Planet Coaster, made by Frontier. And I think that'll do it for today. Thanks so much for watching. Leave a like on it if you did enjoy this episode. And we'll see you all in the next episode. Oh, life